welcome to today's practice. Today we're going to take a 30 minute chair based chakra balancing class. Now some of you might already be familiar with the chakras or you might not. So the chakras is a system or a lens, a way of seeing and considering the human experience. And it's about the flow of energy, the flow of prana within us. And we can use meditation, breathing exercises, colour and even movement to help balance the flow of energy in the body and to help stimulate or soothe the key chakras. So there's many chakras, many energetic centres in the body, but there are seven key centres located from the very base of your torso up to the crown of your head. And these seven centres really govern everything of the human experience. So the base chakra, the root, Muladhara chakra, is about us feeling grounded, safe and secure. It's the colour red and connected to the earth element. Then coming up into the hips, you have the sacral chakra or Svadhisthana chakra. This is about our creativity and our sensuality. It is the water element and it's seen as the colour orange. Then you come up into your navel or your solar plexus chakra, Manipura chakra. This is the fire element and it's just that. It's our fire in the belly, our get up and go, our courage, our confidence. Then you come up into the heart chakra or Anahata chakra. This is the air element. It's the colour green, just like my leggings. And it's about love and kindness. And it's about our ability to give love and kindness but equally how well we can receive it back. Then you come up into the throat chakra, Vishuddha chakra, which is the color blue. It is about our expression, speaking our truth, knowing our truth, and how clearly we can articulate and give voice to that. Then you come up into the brow, the third eye, or Ajna chakra, which is about our insight, our intuition, our inner wisdom. Then you come up into Sahasrara, the crown chakra, which is about our connection to the world outside of ourselves, be that nature, our family, universe, or a god if you are religious. So the practice today is designed to be a quick run through, a quick connection with these key chakras. So finding a comfortable seated position on a chair. I'm sat about halfway in the middle of the chair, so I'm not leaning back, but equally I'm not uncomfortable perched too far forward. So sitting in the middle of the chair, looking at your feet, having your feet around hip distance wide apart and your knees the same. And try and have your feet firmly planted on the floor. Toes spread, whether you're in shoes or barefoot. Hands resting down on the thighs. And allow your eyes to close. Notice your posture. So the chakras reside on this central channel through our body. So imagine your upper body here, your torso, is the shape of an apple. Find that roundness of the apple. But then concentrate on your core, the core of your apple. This long central channel going from top to bottom. Wavelength up through that central core of you. So you're sitting comfortably tall. And bringing the awareness to the breath. Deepening your inhale. And lengthening your exhale. Now think about breathing with this channel. So inhaling in through the crown of your head down to the base of your torso. And exhaling from your base up and out your crown. Take a couple more breaths like that. And it is the breath that carries the prana, the energy, which we are balancing through the chakras. Taking one more breath to connect. bringing your awareness 
down to the base of your torso, right where you're sitting. This is Muladhara Chakra, the root chakra. It's about you feeling grounded. If you sit a little heavier, feel the weight dropping down into your hips, even if you slump a little. But sit heavy into the chair. And feel the feet, whether you're in shoes or barefoot. Inhale, lift your heels up, coming up towards your tiptoes. And exhale, rolling back down. Inhale, lifting up onto the heels. Exhale down. So Muladhara Chakra, the earth element. Take this a couple more times. Connecting with the feet helps to ground and connect us with the earth. As you do twice more, maybe you could visualize the color red. Like a tomato. Feeling grounded. Safe and secure. Coming into a forward bend, so root the heels down, feet on the floor. Slide the hands down over your shins as you fold down over your legs. Drop your head, let your head hang. And leave your hands wherever they like. If they do touch the floor, mindfully place the hands on the floor. Another connection to the earth. Let the head hang. Let this be heavy. We always think if there was to be an animal that was the ambassador of the root chakra, it would be the sloth. Let your arms fall like a sloth. Let the head drop. Let everything be slow and heavy. Grounded. Taking two more breaths. Slowing down. Settling. And pressing through your feet, slowly sliding back up to seated. Lift your awareness slightly higher up into your hips. Spadastana, the color orange. Draw your right knee into your chest, interlace your hands on the shin and lift that knee up as you draw tall. And what we're doing is engaging your hip flexors here. So Svadhasthana Chakra is your hips. Exhale the foot down. Swapping sides, draw the other leg up. Pull up as you sit tall. Svadhasthana Chakra, your creativity, the water element. Drop that leg down. Now taking your legs wide, try if possible to come either side of the chair. So I sat a little deeper into my chair for that. Pressing the inner thighs apart. It's not that elegant, I know. See if you can feel a stretch right here in the inner thighs, the groin area. Breathe as if into the hips. Taking two more breaths, connecting to the hips. And the color orange. And keeping your left foot planted, bring your right leg around. And then pick, turning on the diagonal, pick up your right ankle and place it on your left thigh in seated pigeon pose. Then leaning forwards into your legs. You can stay a little upright or you can bring your hands onto your shin. And see that sensation in your right hip. Bringing the energy, the awareness into the hips, into the sacral chakra. One more breath. And inhale, coming back up. You might want to use the help of your hand to lift that leg and shift it wide again. Pressing the hands out on the inside of the thigh. You're going to drop down onto your left elbow. Inhale, reach the right arm out and over. Keep focused on your hips, even though we're moving more of the body. Keep the awareness down in the pelvis. Inhale, come up. Exhale, over to the other side. Breathing slow and steady. 
mindful balancing of your energy today. Inhale, rising up. Let's do pigeon on the other side. So keep that right foot rooted. Bring your left leg over. Sitting on the diagonal, place the left ankle on the right thigh. Leaning forwards into this. Maybe staying right there or maybe the elbows connecting with the shins. Breathe into the hips. Breathe into the pelvis. The color orange. I am creative. All of us are creative just in very differing ways. Inhale, rising back up, maybe using your hand to help you position that leg back wide again. Keep wide, but shimmy forwards a little on that seat. Taking care with this next option, it's quite deep. I come up onto my toes, so I'm short, and folding forwards. Now your hands might come to the floor, they might not. Relax the head and hang down over the leg. Much stronger sensation now to those inner thighs. Give it two more breaths. Hearing that breath, the sound of the ocean in the breath. And inhale, rolling back up, mindful if you get a head rush. Then bringing the feet back together and shimmy forwards a little onto the front of the chair. Now coming up into Manipura Chakra. Bring your hands and place them on your ribs. But find the diaphragms, it's where your ribs just connect, drop down an inch. Now this might seem silly, but I'd like you to make three ho-ho-hos like Father Christmas and feel the movement between your fingers. So inhale, ho, ho, ho. Good, so that's just bringing the awareness, the energy back here. Three more, inhale, ho, ho, ho. Now we've got that energy in the belly. We're going to start to march your arms and then march the feet. But I'm doing it lightly. I'm trying to make no sound as I march my feet down. Pumping the arms and pumping the legs. So Manipura Chakra is the fire element. So we're marching on the spot to build some heat, to build some fire. So we're gonna march for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop marching. Feel that energy in the legs. Shimmy back onto your seat a little bit. Hold on. We can do some more core abdominal work. Lift the legs just a little bit and imagine you're on a pedalo or some cycling machine. Cycle the legs, and again, this shouldn't be nice. This should feel like work. The many brewers are fire, our discipline, our motivation. So we're going to cycle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. You're going to probably feel those hip flexors. So give it a moment to sit tall. Good, then coming a little further back into the chair so you can actually lean your back on the chair a little bit. You're going to hug one knee in. See if you can hug the other leg in. I am leant back against the chair. You can hold it there or bring the hands to the back of the thighs. Lift one leg, maybe two. It's brutal. Hold for five, four, three, two. One, whew, and down. Hands back to the diaphragm. Ho, 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 ho. Now that ho, you're hoeing out as you exhale. So you're going to turn it into a sniff. So I'm going to, I'm sniffing out. So try and change your ho, ho, ho into a sniff. So go, ho, ho. And keep that, but pump your arms. Five more. 
the hands down. Take a deep inhale. Sigh it out. So all boosting that fire element. And ten more of those breaths. Arms out. Sniffing and pumping the arms. Inhale. That's halfway. Last one, drop the hands down. Close the eyes. Feel that energy in the navel, in the abdomen. Manapura chakra, your courage, your oomph. Now lift your awareness up to the very center of your chest, Anahata chakra, the heart center. Feel the breath right there in your chest. Connecting to the heart, an emerald green colour. Sliding your hands forwards towards your knees, chin to chest, and draw that heart back, round back. Then inhale, slide your hands up your legs, chest, heart comes forward. Exhale, rounding, seated cat cow. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. Twice more. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. Last time. And inhale, coming up to center and bring your hands onto the heart, left hand and then right hand. So the energy of your heart, the nadi, the meridian line, extends down your arms and into your palm. I think that's why we shake hands. So if you move your arms, think of them like an extension or wings of your heart. And dropping that right hand down. Inhale it up and open this wing of your heart. Exhale, draw that wing back home. Other side, inhale that left wing out, up and over. Both hands to the heart. Now both wings come forwards. Inhale, forwards. Opening up the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, wrap your wings tight around you as you round. Inhale, open the wings. Anahata is also the air element. Exhale, wrap round. With wings, imagine you're soaring in the sky, free in that air. Once more, inhale, opening up. Exhale, close. I'm going to come into chair camel pose. Inhale, open the arms up. Reach the hands behind you and hold on to your chair. Roll the shoulders back. Draw the heart forwards. Look up. So opening that heart space. And I always say this, but imagine that moment in the Titanic. Jack, I'm flying. And this sums it up. That feeling of love Rose was experiencing, but also the freedom of air at the bow of the ship. So breathe in that moment. Fresh air of young love. Two more breaths. Jack, I'm flying. One more. And exhale, releasing back to neutral, hands on the thighs. So sliding your awareness up now to your throat, to your neck, to Vishuddha Chakra. Take an inhale, neck nice and long, chin parallel with the floor. Exhale, simply turn your head to the right, looking over that right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, turning to the left. So Vishuddha Chakra, the color blue. Inhale, center. 
Exhale, gently tilt the chin up, stretching the front of the throat. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Unwinding your neck, stimulating the throat. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin up, stretch the front of your throat. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to chest. Once more, inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, up. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, coming back to centre. And take another neck stretch here. Bring your right hand loosely behind your back. Left arm up, over, touch the other side of the head. And gently drawing the head over to the left for a neck stretch. Now personalise the angle, adjust the tilt to find the best stretch for you down the side of your neck. Breathing mindfully, working the shoulder chakra, the throat center. Our ease of expression, of speaking up. Inhale, rising up, gently swapping sides, taking the head over to the right. Relaxing the left shoulder. Breathing into the neck. Inhale, releasing. Hands to the legs, exhale. And sliding your awareness up to your eyebrow, to the third eye, to Ajna Chakra. Bring your fingers, I just use my three, um, three main fingers in the middle, and bring them onto the brow, mainly working with my middle finger. So I'm right here on the point between my eyebrows, and then I'm going to press my fingers up towards the forehead, and then sweep out over my brow, down towards the temple. The fingers come into that point between the eyebrows, Pressing up, and my pressure's quite firm. And exhale down, you can feel how that instantly soothes. Do a few more on your own. Breathing mindfully with it. Once more. And relaxing the hands down, but keep your focus, your awareness, right up at the brow. So we're going to take another breathing exercise or a meditation, the Brahmari B breath. It really stimulates these upper chakras. So quite simply, you inhale and you hum to the sound of the bumblebee, but you focus on that vibration, get it nice and loud, and feel the vibration all around where you are massaging. So I will begin, and you can join in when you're ready, and count five breaths with it. So inhale. Mm -hmm.
natural breath return. And inhale, reaching the arms out and up. And then leaving the hands apart above your head. Sit nice and tall. And imagine that column, that apple core, that's actually called Shushumna, is rising, this central column rising up out the crown of your head. And you're holding either side of this column of light. Feel this sense that you continue beyond the crown of the head. And there is no division, no separation between you and the rest of the world. Our energy is all connected. And keeping that connection, keeping that column open, lower your hands to your thighs, eyes closed. Taking one colour shower through the chakras. Inhale in and down to your base, the red of a tomato. Exhale a shower of red colour. The orange of a satsuma. Inhale the orange down into your hip. And bathe in the colour orange of a satsuma. Yellow like the sun. Inhale the warm sun yellow rays. Exhale, bathe yourself in the colour yellow. Inhale green like an apple into your heart. Exhale, bathe in the colour green. Inhale, blue like the sky into your throat. Bathing in blue as you exhale. Inhale, purple like flowers, tulips. Colour of Ajna. Exhale, bathe in purple. Inhale, breathe in a brilliant white light. Exhale, bathing in pure light. And a natural breath return. A feeling of well-being, of energy flowing freely through the chakra. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Take a nice deep inhale. And a soft sigh out. Bowing to one another. Namaste.